The situation has been the new normal to Nigerians. Since the beginning of the cashless policy and withdrawal limit order of the Central Bank of Nigeria, since the inception of the policy, many Nigerians spend day and night in their quest to get cash. These respondents, while sharing their experience from the time when the policy began, said they have suffered more than enough. While some say the Supreme Court order will help reduce losses of wealth, others say there is no need for the order because, according to them, the worst has already happened. We, we didn't feel happy with what they are doing because um, we come with our different cases. They, they're supposed to know what, what people they have been waiting for them. They, is, they are our customer and then they can reable they, are, uh, they, they, they have to respect us. Uh, we stay outside for a five days. We are waiting how to enter inside. I'm from Abuja and this is my second week coming to this bank on a daily basis. Yet my mission to get cash to handle some family issues prove abortive. While we are in queue, you will see some big men going straight to the banking hall and the transfers are not effective. Right from day one, I knew that the police will be reversed because it has brought nothing but hardship to Nigerians. Look at me. I'm here since 4 a.m. on queue trying to get some cash, but after this moment. The Supreme Court extending the lifespan of the old Naira node till the end of December may be a huge relief for many. While expressing concern over the Supreme Court order, a financial expert in Yola said despite the challenges and push by the Central Bank of Nigeria, the policy is geared toward modernizing the country's financial system. They refuse to accept this policy. Yes. I think there should be that willingness by Nigerians to accept this policy. One of the reasons why you see this thing is still lingering this far is because people still believe that maybe after elections, things will still go back to normal. We must sit with the agree, uh, agreement that this thing has come to stay, is boosting our economy, and that we should agree that at all costs, this thing will not go back to normal again. He said, as Nigeria continues to embrace the shift toward digital payments, all stakeholders must work together to ensure a seamless transition and maximize the benefit that a cashless society can offer. Silas Lewin, Trust TV News, Yola.